police tonight. The rights have come pretty in our sleep, cried out, help who? They murder Caesar. Who's within? My oh, lord. Go bid the priests do present sacrifice. Bring me their opinions of success. I will, my lord. Caesar shall go forth. The things that threaten me never look but on my back, and they shall see the face of Caesar. They are vanished. Caesar, I never stood on ceremonies, yet now they frighten me. There is one within beside the things that we have heard and seen, where counts those hard sights seen by the watch. A lioness hath dwelt in the streets, and graves have yawned and yielded up their dead. Fierce, fiery warriors fight upon the clouds in ranks and scorches and rifle before, which is of blood upon the capital. The noise of battle hurtled in the air. Horses did neigh and dying men did groan. A ghost did shriek and squeal about the streets. Caesar, these things are beyond all use, and I do fear them. What can be avoided, whose end is purposed by the mighty gods? Yet Caesar shall forth, for these predictions are of the word in general, as to Caesar. The beggars die. There are no common scene. The heavens themselves blaze forth the death of princes. Cards die many times before their deaths. The valiant never taste of death but once. Of all the wonders I have yet heard, it seems to me most strange that men should fear, seeing that death a necessary end will come when it will come. What say the Agurus? They would not have you start forth today. Plucking the entrails off and off and forth. They cannot find the heart within the beast. The gods do this in shame of Cardus. Caesar should be a beast without a heart if he should stay at home today for fear. No, Caesar shall not. Danger knows full well that Caesar is more dangerous than he, and that we are two lads littered in one day, and I the elder and more terrible, and Caesar shall go forth. Alas, my lord. Your wisdom is concerned in confidence. Oh, it might be that you should hear in that you Well, set Mark Anthony to the Senate House, and you shall say not well. Let me, upon my knee, be on this. Mark Anthony shall say I'm not well. And for thy humor, I will step in today. Here's Decius for us. He shall tell them so. Good morrow, Decius. Caesar, all hail. Good morrow, worthy Caesar. I'll come to fetch you to the Senate House. You're coming very happy time. To bear my greeting to the senators and tell them that I will not come today. Cannot is false and that I dare not falser. I will not come today. Tell them so, Decius. Say yes, sir. Shall Caesar send a lie? Have I in conquest just my arm so far to be afeard to tell Greybeards the truth? No, Caesar will not come. Tell them so, Decius. Most mighty Caesar, let me know some cause lest I be locked up when I tell them so. The cause is in my will. That is enough to satisfy the Senate. But for your private satisfaction, because I love you, I will let you know. <coughs> Copernia here, my wife, stays me at home tonight. She dreamt she saw my statue, which like a fountain with a hundred sprites, did run pure blood, and many lusty Romans came smiling and did bathe their hands in it. And least as she apply for warnings and portents and evils imminent, and on her knee half begged that I will stay at home today. This dream is all misinterpreted. It was a vision, fair and fortunate. Your statue spouting blood in many pipes, in which so many smiling Romans bathed, signifies that from you, great Rome shall suck revive in blood. And the great man shall press for tinctures, stains, relics, cognizance. This by Calpurnia's dream is signified. In this way, have you well explained it? I have, when you've heard what I can say. And know it now. The Senate hath to do to get this day a crown, the mighty Caesar. If you send him words, you shall not come. The reminds may change. It's as if it were a mock. I have to be rendered for someone to say, break up the Senate till another time when Caesar's wife shall meet for better dreams. If Caesar hides himself, will they not say, no, Caesar is afraid. Pardon me, Caesar, but my dear, dear enough to your proceeding, let me tell you that <coughs> the reason to whom my love is liable. How foolish do your fears seem now, Colpurney? I am ashamed that I did to them. Give me my room, for I will go.
Caesar. Not the same. Oh, Caesar, the heart of Brutus yours to think upon. <laughs> <laughs> 